my shrimp. Thank you for joining for tasting time. Hi, I'm Katie O'Reilly and welcome to Katie's Food Carnival. Eating happiness and good health through color, the carnival colors. Today, orange. Now just the color orange brings us emotional joy. Think about a juicy orange. It invigorates our palate before we even get to it. Everything about it is delightful. It makes our taste buds dance. Well, think about all those fruits and vegetables that do the same thing in the color orange. I'm excited to bring it into the carnival kitchen and really get orange with you. Let's go. Orange, need I even say it? This is really going to be an eye enticing episode. Once again, I love eating with color. It is the best way for us to approach our healthy eating because we're going to get excited with our eyes first. We're going to be looking forward to what we're going to be eating and our taste buds are going to be delighted. So, starting off snack time. One of the things I hear most from people is that they are afraid that they snack too much and they're like, "Oh, I've been at home. I've been snacking. Now I have to go back to the office or go back to school. What am I going to do?" Plan your snack. A healthy orange snack, right? But something you're really going to look forward to. So, Get your Tupperware. First and foremost, make it easy on yourself. Things you can do in advance. Carrots are orange heaven. They help with your eyes. All orange helps with beta carotene. So there's there's so many properties that help with your health that many of them are crossovers. So they're going to be anti-cancer fighting. You're going to have anti-inflammatories. They're going to contain every vitamin your body basically needs, and usually it helps with the eyesight, the skin, the immune system, any kind of anti-aging properties. So we are in good shape on this one. Let's go. So aside from that, the taste is dynamite. A regular carrot stick is really fun because it's crunchy. It's delightful. You can do it if you're bored. Doesn't contain many calories. However, if you're like me, you want a little excitement. So, so it's a not double dip. Sun-dried tomato and goat cheese dip. Take your sun-dried tomatoes just in a jar in the oil. Put them in your blender with a little goat cheese. Whip it together with maybe a little scallion or whatever else you might want. Mmm. It's creamy and tart and zesty. You can bring that in a little side one, a little side Tupperware for yourself, and you have a party going on. If you don't have that much space where you're going, just bring the carrots or pickle your carrots in advance. Put the flavor into the carrots. These have a pickling spice with vinegar, but not drippy. They're zesty and still crisp, and they excite your palate so that your your taste buds are dancing. Mm, another beautiful one. Okay, so another really intriguing orange fruit is the parsimon. Loaded with good health, but more importantly, it is tasty and delicious. When sliced, it eats like a combination of a peach, a pear, um, and kind of like a little bit of a tomato. But it's fruity and delicious, but not drippy. You just slice it up. It's actually considered a berry. It is amazingly un overlooked in our world of eating. But if you get your hands on one, slice it up, bring it to work, I guarantee it's going to eat like candy. So delicious. Orange peppers, another so easy, crisp, texture, burst, watery, keeping you satisfied. You can make a shredded carrot salad with a little golden raisins just for a lunchtime treat or simply the joy of an orange. Oranges are phenomenal. They're full of juice, they're full of vitamin C, they invigorate the body and you're going to love it. If you don't if you're in a situation once again that you can't have anything drippy, go with the clementine. It peels 
and eats like a snack. Beautiful orange. I'll be right back with more. You're gonna love this. Look around us now. We've got some gorgeous orange. I am just delighted because first and foremost, I have built my entire set with orange options for you. Of course, I've already talked about oranges, clementines, carrots, all those fun things, but think sweet potatoes, nectarines, peaches, papayas, Mangoes are a brilliant fruit that's basically God's candy because it's so sweet and delicious. And then I'm going to show you turmeric. I have made a samosa with turmeric. Now it's a lamb samosa. The lamb has been sauteed down with some Indian spices and turmeric is one of those. Then I've used phyllo dough to glaze it with turmeric butter. Let me show you how. Here at the Carnival Kitchen, I wanted to show you ways you can use your turmeric into different things because it's such a healthy, healthy spice. So, coming from the ginger root, it's part of the same ginger family. Incorporating it, it's from originally from India, so any kind of Indian dish is gonna really be a warm reception with turmeric. I am making a samosa here, and the phyllo dough is just these thin layers. So whenever working with phyllo dough, you want to butter it completely. So I've mixed my turmeric in with my butter, melted butter, and just glaze it like that. I'm just going to show you quickly. And then I have a beautiful, already cooked, seasoned with Indian spices lamb mixture. And we're going to put a little bit in there. And then what we're going to do is just do a triangle fold. It's amazing. You want to keep buttering and turmeric -ing so it gets nice and flaky in between. It's going to get your fingers a little bit messy, but that's okay. And you're going to have a perfect parcel. You're going to do one more glaze over. Look at how pretty. And then kitchen magic. The beauty. Look at the orange. Amazing. And that is so easy. And I serve that with a mango chutney. It is crisp. Mmm, flaky, savory, and sweet. And let me say, if you really want to know one of the secrets to turmeric, it aids in losing weight. It's naturally adapts to your digestive system and balances your body. Turmeric tea is a fabulous option for you. So all good things going on there, and it's orange. So eating with your eyes first, beauty first. Here I've got a vegan acorn squash and butternut squash, what we call ribs, but it's kind of a play on their shape. Acorn squash and butternut squash, once again, loaded with the antioxidants that you need. I serve that with an apple compote for dipping, and these are rolled and sauteed. They're actually rolled in five spice, so Chinese five spice. You can buy it or make your own and then just braised in the oven. Still a little firm with that fruity compote. It lifts your palate and kind of mellows out and rounds out that five spice. It is really like an earthy poem treat. It's phenomenal. Salmon, what more can I say about salmon? The redfish. Let me show you my Moroccan salmon recipe. Here at the Carnival Kitchen, salmon is our orange fish of choice, loaded with omega-3 properties. It's great for the skin, it's anti-cancer fighting. So what we wanna do here is show some alternative ways to make salmon. One of my favorite ways is Moroccan style. And I love to do it in bite size so you can see that you could share it with your friends, but you can also do this in a full piece. I'm showing you bite size. What goes into Moroccan salmon is the spicing that is crusted on the top. Once we add some brilliant spices, our palate comes alive and we are excited to eat that. Plus it makes us feel full and satisfied with this meal or with this bite even. So here we go. The combination of seeds and their whole seeds that go into the Moroccan spice is coriander, coriander, fennel, and cumin. 
Brilliant. Put them in your in your mortar and pestle and just mix them up and grind them into your Moroccan spice mix. If you don't have one, use a coffee type grinder. Not one used for coffee because you're gonna it's gonna flavor it too much. But just little hack trick. Get an extra one just for spices. It works beautifully. Cut your salmon into the size pieces that you want. I'm showing you small bite size pieces. When it's raw, you dip it right in that mixture. It's gonna coat just one side, that's all you need. Next step, put that raw face down in a searing pan with a little bit of oil and just literally sear it off so it crusts. Set it on your baking sheet. Your guests are about to come over, still a little bit raw. Stick it in the oven for about four minutes at 400 and here we go, a beautiful fully cooked bite. Yum. And as a bite size option, if you are serving it to your guests, it's so easy. You can either serve with these little forks or a pick or have people just put it on a plate. I have a citrus, both orange and lemon into a yogurt sauce to complement it and sit as a bed. Mm. An incredible burst of flavor in your mouth. Just that one bite, makes me feel like I've traveled to another country. My palate's dancing and it's a carnival of flavor, I mean it. Not only are we eating with color, but flavors and textures, that crunchy, that crunchy shell of the Moroccan spices because of the seeds really adds some texture to your salmon that is very inviting. That's a highly recommended one. It's perfect bite size. You can also do it on a full piece, but I recommend it bite sized with that sauce underneath. Mm. Mellows it out with the creaminess too. Brie flatbread or crostini with parsimon. Now here's a show of the crostini, melted brie, candied parsimon. Slice your parsimon, put it on parchment paper, on your tray, cover it with a little cinnamon sugar, maybe even just a teeny dab of butter, and roast it in your oven till it browns. Slice it up, it becomes almost candied. Then I do a thin slice of fresh parsimon, not only for color, but texture and freshness as well. So the, the aged earthiness of that brie with the candied parsimon and then the fresh parsimon on the bread is a beautiful, healthy treat. It marries in your mouth so beautifully with crunch and texture on the bread and a creaminess and a sharpness from that cheese that really meets the sweetness. It is amazing. And like I said, you can also do it as a flatbread, same technique, more of a pizza. So if you're having more of a casual dinner, pizza, who doesn't love it? But it can be healthy and orange. Mm. And what do I have in front of me? So often you see me do soups, and oftentimes I'll do a green tomato or a roasted red tomato soup. And this is our orange Zima tomato gazpacho. I've roasted the Zima tomatoes, and I've mixed them with a little bit of bread to thicken it, but then I've got some gorgeous red peppers, orange peppers, yellow onion, orange onion, whatever you wanna do on that one. Um, and then I've got garlic vinegar, which is garlic pickled into vinegar and then just regular white wine vinegar. It adds a lift of acidity that your palate's gonna be craving. Salt and pepper, of course, and just blend that all in your, in your blender. Garnish with a little roasted orange pepper or a little bit of that Zima, first Zima tomato. And your guess will not stop talking about this soup and it's healthy it's gorgeous it's packed with vitamins it cannot be beat orange is beautiful and delicious and fun and exciting look at this array you can go so many places i will be back with some mind-blowing entrees just wait
Hi, welcome back to the Carnival Kitchen. I am Katie O, and I am in orange. Do you see what's around me? This was this has been just such a fascinating episode and delicious and inviting. And wait until you see what I've created for us. This is our entrees, and it is everything exciting to the eye. It's dancing off the counter and I am bringing it to you. Let's start with our vegetarian because sometimes it takes me a while to get there, but this is an exciting vegetarian because it's all orange. It's a gorgeous sweet potato layered au gratin Napoleon, which is incredible. It's thin, just take a mandolin and slice those sweet potatoes as thin as you can, mix them with a little egg mixture and a little bit of cheese, Parmesan cheese, and you've got yourself a real, sweet and savory treat, earthy. It's incredibly delicious. And then I've taken orange cauliflower, which I've just braised slightly. Look at that. Mm. And roasted some carrots in the oven. And then grilled some orange peppers for a smoky grill flavor. Texture, beauty, all orange and vitamin packed. That is a vegetarian's delight. And it's plated so beautifully, which is really important. Now I'm gonna show you an interesting pasta dish, which can either be made vegetarian or non-vegetarian. Take a look. Hi, here at the Carnival Kitchen, when cooking with orange, what I really wanna do is incorporate something that everybody's gonna love. So a pasta is a great place to start. Farfalli pasta with roasted pumpkin because that pumpkin is full of nutrients. It has an earthiness and a richness when roasted. It can also have a sweetness. You can caramelize it. It has toothsomeness, so you're gonna want it in your pasta. Let's start with our farfalli. And I like a bow tie. Actually, this is just a bow tie pasta. And I'm just gonna do this. And what I'm gonna do is incorporate. All right, so our veg, our orange veg is our roasted pumpkin. Let's get some of that in. And I've also done a cream sauce, I know, but it's a spinach cream sauce. So mostly a lot of spinach goes on in there, just you don't need all that much, but it's gonna cream out this pasta. Now, for many, this would just be exactly what they craved because this has an earthy body, it has the nutrients that you want, it's creamy, it's pasta, and it's vegetarian. Let's just say those of us that have carnivores in our house want to go with meat. Add Italian turkey sausage or chicken sausage, make it nice and crispy, drain off all the fat, and you've got yourself a half veggie, half lean meat, delectable pasta. Don't forget, always salt and pepper because salt and pepper go a long way with pasta. And once you're done stirring, another huge tip that people forget, taste your food. Taste. So let's do that right now and make sure the balance is exactly what we want. Mm. And when we combine it, I've got a little of the chicken sausage, a little of that pumpkin, and that spinach cream. Mm. All of those elements are vitamin rich. They're textural. The pumpkin gets creamy, but it still has a little toothsome texture. It's got a sweetness that's earthy, not sugary. So it's like, it's like the earth's candy. And when mixed with pasta, it really makes you want to go in for a second bite. It really does. It's delicious. Mmm. And the way you mix it kind of at the last minute, you make sure your pasta doesn't get overcooked. So al dente, mix with the ingredients. It's perfect, perfect for dinner. Okay, this is honestly probably something that is one of my absolute favorites of all time is a bula bays. And it's got saffron in it that makes it orange. It's got tomatoes, it's got fennel, and it's got every type of seafood I love, which is mostly shellfish with a couple of different types of fish. You can make it with whatever you want. I've got shrimp, mussels, clams, 
I've got halibut and I've got salmon in here. And this is so orange and the fennel with the tomatoes and the saffron and then the seafood mixes so beautifully, but it's still light because if you see this broth, mm, you can serve that with some bread if you want, but you really don't need it. It is chunky and delicious in and of itself. It's just really a crowd pleaser. So satisfying. And I love when it, a soup is a meal. It's just, it's brilliant. And the flavors just like, you don't even need that much because the flavors just keep growing on your tongue and developing as you're tasting it. Mmm, and it's warming. I love it. Okay, Cornish hen apricot glaze. Let's tie in some more of those fruits. So I've got apricot glaze on the Cornish hen. I've got a wild rice five. I love to use good grain rice, five grain mix. Wild rice is one of them. Medley mixed with some of those orange peppers. I've got some carrots on top and that is an orange vitamin treat with a fruity element. So you're not None of this is gonna leave you deprived, but it's all really good for you. And that's the most important thing. Eating with our eyes first. Color is exciting. If we go with Earth's candy, we're gonna have everything our palate craves. But naturally, without additives, mmm, that rice is multi-dimensional. And it's so healthy. Okay, I showed salmon earlier, so this time I'm showing halibut. And what it is, is it's crusted, and this is where our orange comes in, with an orange Parmesan macadamia nut crust. Okay, beautifully brilliant, on a bed of butternut squash spaghetti with a little citrus butter. So we're not skipping on anything, but this has our orange, it has our orange squash, and so we've definitely tying in our vitamins, and it's really gluten-free because if you don't put breadcrumbs in your Parmesan orange stuffing, which I did not, and just use those nuts, you're gonna be straight up gluten-free and that is not real spaghetti. It is the butternut squash spaghetti. Mmm. A vegetable that acts like a pasta is so amazing. You feel so satisfied when you're eating it and you're packed chuck full. You get tons of energy from that. And you're not walking away so full. I've got two more that are big and hearty, so I really wanna talk about them separately. Orange chicken is a crowd favorite, and I do this with a fried rice. And then, just to balance it a little bit, because orange chicken can get kinda sweet, I've got the recipe, but you'll see, it can get kinda sweet. Let me show you how quickly you can make it just for your guests or oh, your family last minute. It's great. So orange chicken is a classic favorite among so many. It is ordered probably most in America as a Chinese favorite. Why not make it fresh and delicious with real oranges? And I wanna show you how easy it is to make at home. You take your chicken nuggets and just batter them and fry them and you can do that in advance so that they set and they're crispy. Once we make our brilliant orange sauce, and that's a combination of ginger and orange, and I'll have the recipe up on my website, a beautiful glaze for this chicken. Let me show you how easy it is to make at home. You take your crispy chicken, actually dump it right into the sauce, and this is last minute, because you want it to stay crispy, but yet lacquered completely. And let's get that sauce all over it. I am combining this, and this is where even more fun with orange comes in. I'm going to bring my plate up here and show you. I am putting it on a bed of fried rice that I have just sauteed with some of my favorite colorful peppers, including orange. I've got then my orange chicken to just go right on top. That's delicious. Like sauce. Ginger and orange are so good together. Then I honestly want to bring in a, even a little bit more orange with orange teriyaki cauliflower to offset that sweet orange flavor on the chicken and grilled 
orange peppers. And to garnish, I know it's not orange, but it's a good contrast, cilantro and green onion. That is a delightful dish that everybody's gonna be excited about. And then with that teriyaki, orange, cauliflower, You're definitely balancing it with a lot of veggie. So your protein is kind of minimal. Mmm, so healthy. Oso buco. A love story, truly. If you love somebody, as my husband makes for me, this oso buco is incredible. I do it with a saffron risotto, which has that yellow element, orange element to it and it brings a Spanish twist, little shallots in there, some carrots, but oso buco roasted down, braised. Mm. Those orange Zima tomatoes, lots of carrots, lots and lots of love going into this dish, but it's still meat, so we've gotta realize that we wanna marry it a little bit with the risotto, but there's a lot of veggies in that sauce. I believe that you and I have just had an absolute orange feast. Our skin is gonna glow, we're full of vitamins, we are absolutely dancing with energy, and our palate is so satisfied. Eating with color is the answer to the approach to healthy living. I'm telling you, it's gonna keep going. But right now, I'm headed for desserts. Orange desserts, I'll be right back. Katie O here in the Carnival Kitchen Orange Desserts. This is incredibly amazing because I've actually accomplished incorporating some healthy orange items and ingredients into some desserts. Let's start with our real healthy grilled cantaloupe. It's actually fantastic. It brings out the sugar any time of year, it goes on a skewer, it's playful, it's fun. Mm. It's really rewarding. Marry that with a little mint, a little clementine, mmm, the grill is delicious on that. So fabulous. Here I have an apricot and yogurt granola pie. This is really beyond words because it's actually pretty healthy and decadent all at the same time. So you make it with your yogurt and there's a layer of apricot that you've reduced down and it's creamy with a crunchy granola. Mmm. Any time of day, that is delicious. Peach cobbler is one of my all-time favorites. I think we know that about me. I love to have a cobbler. And when peaches are on the menu, they're going into a cobbler for my dessert. I don't even have to pair this with anything. Just that nice crumbly top. And yes, I use butter in my crumbly top because I love it. And those beautiful smooth peaches that are cooked down and glazed over. Just yum. They're bursting with freshness and they really maintain their integrity when baked in. Now this is such a treat because it's a citrus parfait with white chocolate mousse and it is almost like the inside of a key lime pie but like a citrusy one because I've used orange and lime. And then I've done orange segments that have just been a little bit jellified in a clarified jelly and placed on top for texture. Mmm. Creamy, smooth, bright, citrusy, and the white chocolate is actually the mousse on top, if you can see that. Mmm. Top it with a little orange zest and you are off to the races, baby. Healthy, fun, festive, a martini glass. Who could do better? And very last but not least, I swear this is not least, orange butt cake, frosted with orange frosting. I'm not gonna pretend this is super healthy, but it is orange, so you've got a little bit of brightness. And orange, according to all sources, brings emotional joy. So, I say to you, have a bite of orange cake. Mmm, 
and enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you next time here at the carnival. This has been a delight. Thanks for sharing your time with me. See you next time.